2018 was Ariana's year. I feel like I have worked really hard for a long time to solidify my sound, and I feel like it's more solid than ever. Before you speak, don't look into the moon. Despite everything she was up against, I watched Ariana in the studio turn her pain into song for her most personal album yet. When you sing these songs on stage, you will tell people how you felt when we were doing this song. Working with Pharrell was super amazing, and um, he's brought so much life to this music, and I'm so grateful. What came out of our work together with the Grammy-winning number one album, Sweetener? As an artist, I want to love each project I work on, but this feels like the most me an album has ever felt. As her career was reaching new heights, her personal life seemed to be going in the opposite direction. I kind of hit a personal rock bottom emotionally, and it felt good to make the music. Rather than the pressure, she did what she does best. She worked through it with her music, and the result was an anthem about heartbreak and closure. We are here on the set of Thank You Next. Thank you, next was something that I said, but like putting it in a song makes it very, okay, cool. We definitely just closed that chapter. If I like it, that's what I get. Fueled by the success of Thank You Next, the single, Ariana launched into Thank You Next, the album, which with the help of producers Tommy Brown, Max Martin, and Savi, became her second number one release in less than six months. We just witnessed one of the greatest years any artist has ever experienced. She proved that nothing can keep her down or stop her from giving us great music. And that's why Ariana Grande is iHeartRadio's Artist of the Year. Thank you. It feels amazing. I am so honored. I will sleep with this tonight. <laughs>